So now we want to create the HTTP object. So let's declare it first. Theme object HTTP as object. And now we come to the bottom here. We set that object equals create HTTP object. Okay. And then with that object, okay, what we want is we want to open the request with a get method and the URL and false. So let's declare the uh, URL. string right so the URL is going to be the base URL and we need to pass the service name service equals calendar and action equals and then we pass that uh, action that we have been the action that has been passed to us from these um, procedures here and then we send that request okay I think that's about it okay so let's just create some events here okay so let's just make up some events starting at 9 and lasting for 45 minutes so we just say this plus time value 00 00 okay and then 15 minutes later uh, value 0 15 okay and it will last also for 45 minutes okay that will be meeting number and row because starting the second row I'm just gonna say minus one okay and that should be okay so if I do that and then take these two and pull them down we've got up to let's say yeah all right let's just do up to just before nine o'clock so up to 8 45 okay control is to save and then i'm going to add two buttons okay one to add events Okay, and I'll say add events and duplicate that and call it delete. Okay, let's assign a macro delete events. Okay. So save that and open our calendar. Let's put it there. And then we use this, so they're side by side. And I'm going to add events on the 1st of November, running from nine o'clock in the morning up until 8.45, okay? Let's see if that works, okay? So let's try. Okay, seems to be running. Uh, we're not getting any problems. Yeah, perfect. So we've only got one event. We don't have more than one event. Okay. And I know why. Okay. This is a very subtle issue that we are going to be dealing with in the next video. It's basically a lag 
there's a time lag between our creation of the Excel file saved here and then synced with Google Drive on the cloud. So let's deal with this issue in the next video. So if you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.